We're just driving through Maine and found the most beautiful little pullout that we're gonna walk across the water. <laughs> no idea what it is, but it looks nice. This is the Barrett Mill Pond Dam. This is so picturesque. Just random beauty out here in Maine. Yeah, everywhere you look, I'm smiling because it's smiling. <laughs> it's smile worthy, I should say. You were trying not to say beautiful, huh? I know. It was. <laughs> I need my thesaurus. Or a thesaurus, even. Yeah, you know. Stedman's Woods. It's in 1978, Stedman Woods was donated for the enjoyment of the people of York by Richard Stedman. Wow, the woods really are lovely, dark, and deep. <laughs> Do you have promises to keep? Well, it looks like it's about to rain, so. Miles to go before I sleep. Yes. Miles to go before I sleep. Don't accuse me of learning a lesson. Let's we'll see how this water in Maine compares to the water in Massachusetts. Holy crap, it's even colder. It's actually not colder, it's just cold. Let's get in the water. I don't like wet feet either. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. <laughs> it's like one of those Highland Games life carrying contests. Well, we had to support local businesses, <laughs> and that is a darn good cup of coffee. <laughs> We're in Cannonbunkport, make sure to stop there for coffee. Yes. What's it called? Uh, Dock Square? Hawk. Dock Square. Mine's uh, ice caramel latte. Really good. Black coffee, of course. The double dark. <laughs> Bunkport is a cute little seaside town. Lots of little shops, but plenty of places to eat. Really cute. And lots of nice people. Yes. Well done, Maine. Um, where to next? <laughs> choices. Lots of choices. <laughs> Canada Bunkport is definitely super cool. However, the only downside on places that are like popular with the rich and famous is we are neither of those things <laughs> and it draws a crowd and raises prices. But awesome little town. Be great to stay if you can afford to. Yes. But it's nice to walk through for, you know, us budget travelers. <laughs> Lobster roll. They actually put a whole lobster in them. That's why there's a line. Red's lobster roll is served with a side of Kate's main butter. That's perfect. that are disacclaimed tend to disappoint. We'll let you know. <laughs> Been in line 40 minutes, almost there. They brought us watermelon while we're waiting in line, but it's gone. A regular uh, lobster roll. Yeah. Are you gonna sit on the deck, dear? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. 
All right, this is my very first lobster roll. Oh, it's cold. I don't know why, I thought it was gonna be warm. This is a thing that's a big bite. That's a lot of lobster. The bread is toasted. It's nice and crispy, but I haven't put the butter on. This is Kate's famous, famous butter. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yep. Must add the butter. I'm going to try Chris's. This is gluten free. They actually asked you if you're celiac or not. And this is buttermilk. Oh, actually, I prefer to get the gluten free buttermilk than the normal. It has more flavor. Okay, now we're eating. It was really good. I, I have to try another one just to see what, but I can see why Alan likes to eat them twice a day. I think you're onto something there. Yeah. Trying another one. Yeah. For me, that was the best lobster, some of the best lobster for sure that I've ever had. So often lobsters overcooked a little bit and a little rubbery. This yes. was really tender and juicy. Absolutely fantastic lobster roll. And I'm surprised how much lobster was on there. It was huge. They do an entire lobster on each roll and it shows the butter though. Wow. Oh, yeah, that butter. It's Kate's butter. Yep. It's signature. <laughs> so now we're heading off to try another lobster roll. <laughs> well, you have to compare it. I mean, that's just who we are. Yeah. My boss, Alan, he said this is the best place in Maine. So let's go. They also said this place had the best view, and I have to agree. Favorite. <laughs> okay. Second one. Oop. Is it crunchy? Oh, this one comes with lettuce. This is mayonnaise mixed in with butter and lettuce. This is really good. But sorry, Shaw. The other one, reds, is better. That butter is amazing. Still good. So Shaw's definitely wins on the view. Mm -hmm. So now I've had two places and two different lobster rolls, and I have to say, hands down, sorry Alan, but Reds wins it. That butter. And that huge piece of lobster, a whole lobster, a whole lobster for amazing. the same price that here, the flavor, I have to say Red's. Shaw's was good. Shaw's you got in, they cooked, it was really fast. And, and it, it was good. And it was good, yeah. But Red's, Red's was like sushi in Tokyo. Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. Tinkle time. Yep. TMI. Thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>